Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the repair work to the chassis. So Shabs will take you through that in a second. And before we get there though, if you can click the subscribe button below and the little bell so you get notifications of when our next video is coming out. Uh, so, just on with uh, the cross member work in the chassis and stuff like that now. So, I've got a new cross member here behind me uh, and I've been cutting out of the hole uh, the old one, the front one. Um, so, not a massive job cutting it out, but cutting and grinding is never a fun job anyway. Um, so, and it's dusty and messy and the few bits of burny burny. So, but yeah, making my way through it now and uh, hopefully we'll start having a, uh, a bit of um, progress. So I am deep in the pits of this series one. Uh, I'm in where the engine lives, because there's the engine mount originally. Uh, and I'm attacking this cross member, the gearbox cross member. Um, what I've decided to do with it is uh, cut out basically the bottom and then the two sides. Uh, so this being one side and the back here being the other side and then the bottom section. Um, of the original, which is all on the floor down there that you can't see, but uh, we're chucking a clip here. Um, and then basically, I've taken a Series 3, which are really common and available cross member, and basically modified it to fit, so I've um, cut the top section off of it, so, it, so it's a C-section like that, and slid it up and then um, changed the shape of each side here so that it matches a series one version uh, and left in these gussets so off another quick fit up there very quick fit up uh, and now i can grind everything back make it look pretty uh, and then get to welding it in all right so I am in here where it's very snug, uh, putting in this cross member, just tacking it in place at the minute. And um, just working my way along, as you can see, I'll put these tacks in here. Um, and I'm just, basically I'm, I'm putting a tack down and then I'm manipulating the steel as I go and getting it into the position I want, ready for when I weld up. Um, and it's actually going in really well, to be fair. I'm all done on that side, I think, um, for the most part. I've just got to do some bits along bottom here where it uh, meets the flats of the chassis um, and then I'm pretty much good to weld it weld it in um, and it, so far touch wood of which there's none around uh, it's come out quite well in terms of shape and, and keeping the existing top part of the the cross member the original top part and just putting in this this lower bit um, so I'm just going to keep going at that and, uh, and then get it welded up So I'm just in a position now where I'm going to look at welding up this cross member. I've got the fit where I'm happy with it and it's ready to build it up. But I've also got this, where are we, here to look at just above my head. So this is where uh, the spring hanger, this piece here, has actually come round and then smashed up into the, uh, the chassis. So we've got this damage here you can see it's take a look at that there we go um where it's just been be beating into it and it's just damaged the chassis there and caused it to fracture and stuff um so i've got this about five inch section here that uh i've got to basically cut out and plate and i figured now is a good time to do that whilst um whilst i'm just about to weld this up because i can do it all in one hit then so next task is jumping on that
So all done up front now and uh, on to the rear end, switch the uh, four lift around and lifted up the rear end of the car going on the axle stands now um, to take a look at this mess. So this is where, uh, this is obviously the rear cross member, this is where um, there was sort of a tow bar arrangement mocked up on here, uh, or fitted to this rather, um, and uh, they'd obviously just been racking it around and, and giving it hell and it's, it's actually created a lot of stress fractures and stuff in here. Obviously a bit of corrosion anyway, uh, but largely it's it's just it's good steel. Um, in in for the most part, um, it's just been battered basically, and it's just had a hard life, which is understandable for a car of this age. So there is a lot of good steel here, um, and it's not worth changing the entire cross member. It's literally a strip along the bottom there for the most part, and then some patching. So the plan is to. Um, basically cut out here, well reshape it first, get it back into a shape that it will look like it originally did. Cut out the strip there, then I've got this strip of steel here, which was an off cut from the cross member in the middle. Um, and I'm, I'm basically just gonna start tacking that in uh, and form it to match the original shape here and here. Um, and basically just build that back up and then what I'll probably end up with here, for example, where, where it's gone above the, the, the corner, is so I'll probably end up with some small patches, um, just filling in gaps. Uh, the back's pretty good, There's a, there, there is a bit of a hole at the back there um, that will want a little patch, but for the most part it's, it's not in bad condition. Um, and if it had had a better life, it, it really wouldn't have needed doing, this would have still been in great condition. Um, the rest of the cross member fine, it doesn't need any work anywhere else. This is the last bit of welding on the car, so I'm, I'm keen to get this done. Um, and, uh, and then finish it off back on the floor, we can start looking at the engine mounts uh, and transfer box mounts. It's extremely hot in the workshop, I've been doing a bit of welding and grinding as well, and it's ridiculously hot, so um, I'm going to get this done as soon as possible. So, let's get it cracking. You can see I've loosely ground it up and then cut out the, the key bits, um, leaving in some other bits um, that, that will come out, but they give me a bit of a, a line to go off of. I can see here where the bend is. Um, Likewise here, I can make out with bendy. So I've left those bits in, but I've given myself something to work with, strained it up a bit, and now this piece <coughs> will go in. The rear end is in is in better condition, or the front end, as it were, actually. So this front side uh, is in better condition, so I can work off of that, um, and that will start giving me uh, basically a ground point, a zero point to work from as a reference. Um, and I'll work my way along the back edge here, repairing all this, and then come, or the front edge, sorry, and then come to this rear edge here and start working my way along and then getting it around either corner and, uh, and making it look like it lived there. The uh, cross member all finished off now, um, quite happy with it, quite pleased with it. Um, 
round it up as you can see across this edge just to make it a bit neater. You can see a witness mark along there where he's been welded, um, which I'm not too fussed about really. Um, I'm not trying to hide that it's been welded and I've left the raw weld underneath because that won't, won't really be seen hugely. Um, but now we've got some, some good steel back in there that's going to get a bit of paint. I kind of wanted to leave the cross member looking the way it was in terms of the paint and, and the sort of rusty effect but then clear coat it with some buzz weld. Um, but because I've done this I'm not sure I might protect, protect it and then get some of this green to go over the top and sort of make it look like it was um, original but not sure but all the welding done on the chassis now um, and we can crack on with some mounts. So that is the chassis repairs done. The next job is going to be mounting the transfer box. So check out that video and we'll see you in the workshop soon.